the kitchen. Thank you all guys who was following me from last week with our video. Thank you so much. I love you all very much. Today we are going to make curry chicken. Also we are going to make a little plain rice and we are steaming plantain and sweet potato. So we are going to make salad with avocado, lettuce and cucumber and tomato. Thank you so much. I love you all very much and I want you all to follow every step by you. Thank you. Putting a little salt and the chicken. Just a little salt. And also I put a little black pepper. And I'm just going to just turn it in a little bit. Coconut oil I have in my bottle. Then I'm going to burn some curry. The curry. burn my curry a little bit. As you can see, this flame is coming up very nice curry. I'll throw it together. Very nice. Smelling very nice. The way it smells very fair room and smelling. Also, I'm going to add some garlic. To add my garlic. My ginger, my scallion, my shadow vinegar. I'm going to make a turn star again. How beautiful it looks! Beautiful, nice color. So, I'm giving you all today sweet pepper to bright it up. I will leave the carrots because I love the carrots to so be crunchy and nice. So when it nearly cook, I could just a little bit put the carrots in. I don't want to put the carrots in so fast. Carrots will give it a good color. And leave the time for it. And I'm going to stir again. As you could see, the color, the smelling is out of the wall. So before I do this, I clean the chicken. So this is like a like a roomy chicken. Clean the chicken, take off all the skin, rub it up with lemon, lime, soak it for like 20 minutes, leave it and wash, and then I put like a thing and season. I, I didn't just put the chicken like that, just one minute to it off. It's well washed. Clean, every skin is off of the chicken. So I'm gonna turn this stove down low. So it could be simmering a little bit, not too high. And then next step, 
I'm gonna go with the rice. So we have the curry, then we have plantain with sweet potato, steam in there. Then I'm gonna put some pimento into the curry chicken. So put the pimento into the chicken. Then I will put Mr. Dash, Mr. Dash chicken flavor. So give it a little flavor into the chicken. So it will flavor it up very nice. To do the rice, I will cut this last of the rice. Okay. Very nice, very healthy rice. So I'm going to use three cups of rice, three to four cups. We have a big family. This one. So I use three cups. So good. Turn the flame up a little bit, and then I'm going to add in my carrots, my thyme, and then I will just rest this scotch butter on top because I already have fresh ginger. It will just simmer. So I have everything into the pot. Nice curry, three kind of curry. We have Jamaican curry. We have Saint Vincent curry. We have Indian curry. Flame down low, everything's with all. Brown rice. Brown Indian rice, very healthy. We gotta watch the starch. Okay. And then. And I put my rice into the water. rice. I don't put no grease into the rice. I will put a piece of fresh scallion. Let's drop it in, flavor it up. I'll just run it together and I rest it into the rice. So that's what we flavor up the rice. Let's stand. Shoot. And we have our curry chicken is coming good. for the skin and pepper. Okay. Nice color. Because you can add a lot of water into chicken. The mushy. Any question? You could leave a message. So my name is Cynthia Corbin. I told again I'm from St. Vincent, the Grandes. My husband from Jamaica, St. Catherine. We're together a long time, and August come will be 20 years away now, so we care about nearly 40 years. So, I love everyone. You're welcome to ask any question and come into my home anytime. Love you all very much. Talk to you again. The food finished, I'll talk to you. So, guys, I'm looking at my chicken again. Very nice, smelling very good. Look at the color. Look at it. So I want to let you to know I grow my own organic stuff like scallion and, and thyme at my window. Shadow Vili. We eat organic stuff. I don't have a microwave because it's cause cancer thing. You know, I try to eat healthy. 
we don't use sugar in the house we don't use soda so I made my own stuff and so like everybody could follow me so I use a lot of greens chocho carrots kalalu I don't eat a lot of meat just chicken and strictly fish so just want to let you to know I make banana porridge every morning I use coconut milk I buy in coconut I juice it and I also make coconut oil that's what I cook with so I try to eat healthy and that's what I cook with so it's not hard for other people to try it you all can try it it's very simple easy you know buy your coconut grate it you could use a grater you could use your blender you have milk for your children your family i drink a glass of milk every morning every morning i make coconut milk i have that and my husband have we make banana porridge oatmeal and flaxseed no sugar strictly coconut milk i'm 69 years old i try to keep my health very healthy went to the doctor everything is healthy my pressure my blood work everything is awesome so you all guys could follow me do the same thing as i do you don't have to need a lot of grease something you could treat yourself with a piece of pork if you would that's your thing but for me and our family we go with chicken and fish okay so we have in some salad just having avocado we have an avocado if you like an avocado So this is the curry chicken, smelling very good. Imagine if you was here to taste it, it would be very good. If you guys was here, you all taste this chicken. Taste of it. Mmm. I wish you all guys was here. So I tip a little more salt. And so this is the rice. See, it's looking very nice, surely and nice, no softness. And this is the color of the rice. I wish you all guys was here to taste it. I wish you all was here, so you could just. Sit to your table and pretend that you are eating sent here food from a kitchen. You get the good stuff here. Okay, here is my chicken. This is the color. So, as curry, you got a well cooked curry. I also have my ginger, my scallion, my shadow vinegar, everything. Red onion, shallot, garlic a lot. But with curry, you must make curry cook properly. It's no hurry though. You send it to the hospital. So you have to make sure that the curry cook proper. Take your time and simmer down. Right now it's bubbling. So now I'm gonna turn the, the flame down. Let it take its time. And in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it will be ready. Okay, the chicken are ready to be done now. So you all guys, we are going to turn it off and then we're going to dish it out. We are going now to enjoy our dinner. Thank you all to join us. Now we are having curry chicken as I told you. We are having a little white rice, Indian rice. We have having salad. We have having avocado, tomato, and carrots again. We are drinking sorrel juice. And so to, tomorrow, God's pay for breakfast, we are having roast breadfruit with bonjour salt fish and chocolate tea with coconut milk. I hope you all enjoy it. There is a next video coming out. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all for watching Cynthia Kitchen. Love you all very much. Cool.